All right, it is 3.49. We are going out to feed the calves on March, I think we know that. On March 6th. Let's go. All right, so here's a little video that we put together yesterday. Of course, as you can tell, my son is wearing the hat cam. So you're going to get a running commentary from a nine-year-old's perspective on this. It's kind of hard to believe this, I know it's not. I just wanted to shoot this just to show the simplicity of providing a protein supplement to cattle grazing down the grass. So we're using a dried distiller's grain and uh, I'll just deliver them 50 pound bags. Um, costs a little more to get it delivered that way than in bulk. But I really don't have a way to handle it. Cole is giving us the feed bag perspective here. This is from the first feed bag to so I just store them underneath the three-sided shed. I'm a feed bag. Put some panels up. I'm in the some panels up to keep the cattle out of it. And uh, I often, I, I was feeding it most of the time in the bunks here at the corrals. Uh, but now the cattle are out on the far end, and uh, I realize we're losing a little bit more feeding it out on the ground. But I think we've gained a bit of it in there. Not bringing the cattle in to graze. So now we're driving out to the end of the cattle are on. This land that we're driving across has been grazed quite a few months ago, so there's just a few two stalks left out here. There's scat in the road. What? Of course, the mind of a nine year old. So it was a beautiful day yesterday, March 6th, about 60 degrees, so it's starting to feel like spring. It's called the distiller, distiller's grain. So Cole's taking a look at the feed there. Um, this is the loose distiller's grain. It's in a meal form. It's not pelleted. You can Hello, also get it in a pelleted form. Uh, it might work a little better for feeding out on the ground like we're going to do today. Help you do. I think so. If I jump back up so the electricity couldn't go through. Did you hit the so we've got these cattle grazing out using electric fence and giving them fresh feed every few days. I move the fence back to where an area that has not been grazed. See, this is the one that has the Don't mess with it. Just leave it there. These cattle have grazed out the entire winter, uh, receiving nothing else other than this distiller's grain as a, as a protein supplement. It also provides some nice phosphorus. So when we feed it out of the ground, um, there's a few ways to do this. You can stretch it out, you know, in a, in a row. Uh, I prefer to pile it. And we, I try to put about 10 pounds in a pile. Uh, these cattle are fed once every three days with this supplement, and I feed them three pounds a uh, head per day at each feeding. And uh, so it's the equivalent of a pound per head per day is what they're receiving. And uh, the distiller's grain is about 30% protein on a dry basis and uh, really high energy on a dry basis as well, about the equivalent of corn. In fact, it might be a little better than corn because it's a fibrous energy source and not a starch energy source because the, most of the starches were taken out during the ethanol making process. So this is the, what's left over after they take corn and make ethanol with it. So there you go, that's kind of the process of feeding it. We just put it in piles and the cattle gather around it. I feel like they waste less when they gather around it and, and I'll put their heads in the middle like they're doing. And they'd be doing this a little better if there wasn't a nine-year-old running around scattering them. Of course, throwing the feed around as it feels like you need to do. So. But, uh, But that's pretty much it. So feeding distillers grains on on cattle grazing dormant grass and feeding them on the rangeland. Uh, I've heard numbers of estimates of 30% uh, loss of the feed feeding on the ground like this. That's one reason the bunk would be preferred.